Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to Collection Neo and Statue Forum. Today we're back in Dino City with the Dam Toys Coelophysis bust. Now I say bust, this is a big ass statue. Now when I first ordered this, I actually um, I did get this from Sideshow. Um, I ordered this and it was $350. Now if you don't know, all the other busts that I've reviewed so far, the T-Rex bus, the Carnotaurus, all these smaller busts, as you can see this is um, on a different base as well. This isn't like one, the one that's on the metal pole. Um, I was like, why the f is it $350? It's, you know, it must be slightly larger. Um, and obviously, you know, the, the details are fantastic as usual from Dan Toys and things like that. So I just ordered this, I had the money, so I just ordered this. Um, and then it came and it's huge. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. That's the review. It's over. No, it's it came and it was like massive. So I think this is one six. It might be bigger because I know Coelophysis wasn't a huge um, dino. Now Coelophysis was like a three meter long tiny predator. It's one of the first predators or one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered, if I remember right, or one of the earliest dinosaurs that we know of. Um, so I'm guessing they just thought, fuck it, let's do it 1-6. Um, now, we'll go over some details and stuff, guys, but um, just before I do, I've actually got the Carnotaurus bust here. So I'm going to just take off the top part -ah! to just show you. You know, now Carnotaurus is probably about 115 scale. So this bust is pretty huge. Um, is it worth $350? Probably not, but um, it's, it's, prob no, it probably isn't, but it's definitely a big, nice, show-stopping piece. When I stick it back on display, guys, I'll get you a quick display shot so you can just see it next to all the other busts and the other pieces. Um, this was offered in two flavours. Um, it was offered in green, as well as the same um, lovely fetching red, as usual from Dam Toys. I went for the red just for a bit of, um, you know, a bit of variation. They do seem to do a lot of red and green, but, um, so yeah, I think the other one was green and the little iguana guy was red. Um, let's um, pause guys, we're going close and we'll go over all these brilliant details and paints. Now, like the original T-Rex bus that Dan Toys put out, this does come in two pieces, so it's got this really heavy wood finish base. It is polystone. There's the Paleontology World Coelophysis Collectible Museum series from Dan Toys. Um, it's really painted up really nice. There's no um, piece from the front, like the um, other, like the Smilodon, or the um, T-Rex. There's no like brass plate at the front, which is a shame. Um, and then the actual bust is here, which just sits on. It's kind of an octagon shape. Let's get in a little bit closer. Let's bring him a little bit closer so we can get onto some of the details on this rather fantastic base. That'll do. Let's spin a roo. So the same as the T-Rex base, we've kind of got all these um, foliage and um, this tree. And as you can see, the details and the, the paintwork is just great. Especially, you know, these are mass produced. I don't know what exactly what the um, 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 edition size on this guy was, but they aren't high. They only do about two, three hundred of each. Um, but for a mass produced dino piece, it's um, really, really well done. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, I've kind of got a predator green leaf here for some reason it looks like predator blood um i don't know if that was just a mistake or if that was a, supposed to be there as a different type of plant but the leaves look similar but i don't mind it i don't mind it again like the t-rex you've got all the um foliage running up the back of the dino to like instead of it just being black or a bit of rock um i really really like that i really dig it and as you can see the colors and the again the sculpts are just for me I post a lot of these onto other dinosaur forums and that, and I see people saying, well, th this is totally inaccurate, or this isn't right, or that isn't right. For me, this is just an aesthetic thing. I just, you know, I've looked up Coelophysis. It looks pretty much similar to this, but obviously Dam Toys put their own spin on everything, and I always say that. 
you know, if you're buying these pieces, you're not buying for accuracy, I don't think. You're buying for aesthetics. And the aesthetics on these really, really appeal to me because they are, um, they're kind of what they should look like, but a bit more with an artistic flair, if that makes any sense to you. Um, and then we'll come right up, guys, up the neck. I'll, I won't even pause, I'll take you on the journey with me. And then we can have a look at that brilliant pattern on the back of the neck. Um, again, paints are just brilliant. Damn toys do great paints. They really do. And you can see the little iguana guy here coming around. There's a name for that, I don't think it's iguana guy. Um, but as you can see, the details, really, really well sculpted. Paints are great. I love all the blues running down the spine and the oranges and greens and browns and blacks. And then we'll come a little bit higher. I'm going to move out a little bit. There you go, guys, so we can see the coelophysis. Again, great paintwork on the eye, all the teeth. So this actual jaw pulls out. You can see he's a little bit rocky because he literally just sits on. But this is actually a magnet piece that actually slides back and up. So I haven't, you know, I'm shaking him about here and there's no issue of him falling. All the teeth are actually sculpted away here. So on one side, so where he sits, there's no teeth to be broken. It's actually really, really well done. As you can see, the little iguana guy's got like these big buck teeth, <laughs> which is great. Paints on the eyes are brilliant. And we'll come around the back. It just really pops. It looks great on display, guys. Like I say, I'm going to pause this and I'll throw him in the display. I've got him next to the T-Rex bus, so you can check out the size comparison. But he's huge. It's about 18 inches high. About seven inches wide. It's about maybe... Well, maybe a bit bigger than that. With the About eight inches by eight inches width and depth. And then about 18 inches high. Um, you can find, I've seen these on eBay for about 250 quid, so you might be able to save yourself a few bucks. And very, very nice. Like I say, I assume it's about 1.6 scale from 3 metres. Um, but yeah, it's great. The little, everything came in pristine condition. I honestly thought the little iguana guy hands and claws were going to be maybe a chip here or there or a little bit broken off, but no really really good now there is a bit of a seam here where the lower jaw connects there but i think it kind of runs in with the the markings on the head i don't think it's absolutely terrible i would try and take it off for you but if i do that and something goes wrong i'll hate you guys forever so what we'll do guys i'm going to pause we'll throw them on display and we'll have a good look at him in there. Okay guys, we are back. Apologies for the lighting, but this is obviously just on my display. We've still got a big Sideshow T-Rex up there who will be replaced eventually. There's the Coelophysis next to the T-Rex. So as you can see, really big size difference on him. Um, there's two Carno bus, Dilophosaurus and Allosaurus bus. We've got Smilodon. We got Styraco bust and the Centrosaurus bust. Completely forgot the name. Then have I reviewed the Centrosaurus? I don't think I have. And then we've got the Quetzalcoatlus, which is about twenty-four inches tall. So that'll give you a good impression. Let's get right out as much as we can. So obviously, I've got a bit more room at the bottom yet, guys. Um, I should have done this on my last dino video but hey we'll get it out of the way now and um, so what i have got coming in is the damn toy spinosaurus and the prime one jurassic park triceratops and i may get a jp raptor at some point as well but there you go guys coelophysis done and dusted great piece as with all the other damn toys pieces i just think they're great um good value although this one i would say is more on the expensive side compared to these which are about you know 120 bucks um this doesn't really feel like three times the price of one of them but i think it's really really nice and the large scale is cool so there you go guys um see the fastest done 
and I'll see you at the next um, dino review. Thanks for watching and bye.